I am the all-knowing God. Escape! I can't lose it all again. Let me ask you a question. Do you have Nilu? Ever heard of a team called Nilu Super Bloom? It's actually a fairly meta team, and definitely not something I would normally make a video on. But we require context for what comes next. So I thought I'd talk about this meta team using Nilu and Kave before taking them outside of their comfort zone over the next couple of weeks. So this will be a much different type of video than I normally do. So let's get started and get into a sort of history lesson on Nilu and the Almighty Bloom team. Super Bloom is an extremely loose team comp with an extremely strict requirement. With two Dendro characters of your choosing, any Hydro, and Nilu herself, you can have a team that is extremely powerful. The concept is simple. As long as your team only consists of Hydro and Dendro characters, your Bloom reactions, that is, when Hydro meets Dendro, will be replaced by Bountiful Cores, which are buffed based on Nilu's maximum health, up to approximately 70,000 maximum health. Now this raises a question. How can a team with such a strict building requirement have any level of flexibility? Well, let's talk about it. Nilu's skill is the bread and butter of these teams. After activating it, she will do some Hydro damage and have additional abilities based on whether you use her normal attacks or if you use her skills. After three of these enhanced attacks, if you end with her normal attack, she will infuse her normal attacks with Hydro and gain a ranged attack as the final swing of her combo. If you finish this sequence with her skill instead, you will instead generate an aura around your team that constantly applies Hydro. This means that Nilu can be the on-field character or just an off-field support while another character leads the charge. So ultimately, this means as long as one of your teammates is a healer, you can use pretty much any combination of Hydro and Dendro units to make the team function. But then something changed. A new 4-star character was released in patch 3.6 that could change Nilu Super Bloom in a big way. Kave, of course. This strapping young lad has everything you want for this team. A Dendro Infusion, the ability to interact and receive bonuses from regular Dendro cores as well as Nilu's Bountiful cores. And most importantly, he has the ability to detonate Dendro cores immediately, which also applies to Nilu's Bountiful cores as well. After a few tests and variants of this team, this is the one I came up with. Using Nahida for her powerful Dendro application, Shin Cho as your extra Hydro unit, Nilu focusing on keeping up her Hydro aura, and finally, the man who could never find his keys, Kave. This is the most meta team I've ever shown on this channel, and it definitely lives up to the name Super Blue. The AoE damage is superb, the consistency, fantastic, and I personally actually find it pretty fun. That being said, this variant of it doesn't use a healer, which can be kind of dangerous, but Kave self-healing does help mitigate this. If you're not comfortable with this kind of setup, you can easily replace Nahida with Yao Yao for a similar effect, as well as some very potent and powerful healing when you need it. Regardless of the content that you're doing, this team will pretty much always be usable, even against enemies with high Dendro resistance, the team still holds up fairly well. Not to mention, even within the team itself, you have flexibility. Kave doesn't have his burst ready? Have Nilu use a Hydro Infusion instead of the Aura for some quick extra damage and Hydro application. For those using Yao Yao when you're low on health and you need a quick pick-me-up, popping her burst and jumping around for a little while is also a great way to fill the time. And specifically in the Nahida variant, if Kave is experiencing downtime, Nahida can easily pick up the slack. Truly, this team can do no wrong. But for such a good team, why was Nilu's release so middling? Surely a character with such a cute design and power in her kit would have the community a buzz. She seems like the total package. Well, I think there was a few reasons for this. Firstly, most players didn't really know what a Bountiful Core even was. How did it work? Was that a much better option than regular Bloom? Why would I do that when I could just do Hyper Bloom, or even just Spread instead? Now, she had some okay sales, don't get me wrong, but it was much lower than some of the other power outliers in the game. 
So the real reason I think that her sales ended up suffering was her team building restriction. To get the most out of her, you have to play this one team comp. And most people didn't even know if this team comp could be good or would even be fun. It's a fair thing to worry about. And I think sadly Kave will land in the same boat. That he will be typecasted for a single role and have a hard time breaking away from that team comp. Right? Actually, let me ask you a new question. Do you want to build new teams for Kave and Nilu? Over the next two weeks, I plan on creating as many teams as I can that take Nilu and Kave out of their assigned roles and try to see if they can hold up on their own merits outside of these super specific types of Bloom teams. I have a good number of ideas in mind, but it will take some time to get it all done. So consider this a part one of a three-part series where I will be exploring the off-meta and meme shenanigans I can get up to with these two characters. And now that you know the context of the two of them, I hope you will join me in trying to make a mess of things. Starting with Nilu, next week we will begin this journey proper. These videos will be a slightly different format than I normally do, so I do hope you enjoy what I have planned. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe, and if you have any crazy Nilu or Kabe ideas, please comment them down below. So with that, that's all from me. Cheers.